Ted was having a bad day. First, his mom shouted at him. Ted, clean the yard right now. Then the neighbor, Mr. Jacob, complained about him to Dad. Your son threw his popsicle sticks across the wall into our garden. Father seems very upset with him. Later in the day, the cat choked on a balloon. Ted had left the balloons he had burst on the floor. That was just the beginning. <laughs> when the family went for a ride, Ted threw a bunch of candy wrappers out the window of the car. The traffic police stopped the car. Your son is littering. You will have to pay a fine, he said. Ted had still not learned his lesson. At home, he ate a banana and threw the peel outside the door. Now Zoe slipped on the banana peel and is hurt. Ted had a bad day. Very, very bad day. The next day, Ted goes to school. Miss Tina gave the class a poem to write. Ted scribbled and scribbled. He used a lot of paper. He threw each rough edition on the floor. Miss told him to pick up all of them and put them in the dustbin. It was lunchtime and Ted was quite hungry. He sat under the tree to eat his sandwiches and burp. His friends gathered around him shouting, Litterbug Ted! Litterbug Ted! After school, Ted didn't want to go home, so his mother dropped him at Grandma's. Not me, his other grandma. <laughs> grandma was not in the house. He looked around for her and found her in the garden digging a big pit. When he asked what it was, Grandma said, It's a compost pit, Ted. We can put our litter into it. The compost pit will turn the litter into healthy manure for the plants in a few weeks, she said. Ted helped her collect some dry leaves and other litter from the garden and all the leftovers from the kitchen. Ted added some mud too. It was messy, but it was fun. Together they threw all the waste into the compost pit. They covered it with mud and more mud. On his way back home, Ted understood that litter is untidy, unsightly, and unneighborly. It's also illegal. He decided to never leave his things strewn around and never throw litter across the neighbor's wall or on the pavements and the roads. He said to himself, Litter is dangerous too. I could have hurt my pet or my sister. Broken bits and slippery things should be inside a bin. When he reached home, Ted decided to make his own compost pit and said aloud, Litter is useful. He decided to make posters requesting his neighbors throw their litters in his compost pit. Then he told his parents about his idea, and it made them very happy. Ted and Zoe took spades and dug a neat hole in their backyard. Then both went around the neighborhood to put up his posters. We are all happy to see that Ted would not litter from now on. That's my boy Ted! <laughs>